Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We are on our way to Lake Ontario. We just launched here in the Niagara River. It's a gorgeous spring day. We're gonna be fishing for trout, so stay tuned folks. So glad you can join me. Okay, we've made our way out here and what we're gonna to do today folks, we're gonna be trolling for trout. We're gonna be looking for lake trout, but you never know, you could catch a rainbow, you catch a brown, you could even get a salmon this time of year. And I'm gonna run the American smelt. I'm gonna troll, just flat line trolling. And I'm gonna try a variety of different colors, but I'm gonna open up with the blue. But uh, I'll start off with the blue, but I may switch over to the purple. I really like the purple or the chartreuse, or even the natural. We'll see how it goes. The water's a little bit, um, a little bit stained. So I wanna see which color is gonna work best under those conditions. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna let out about 100 feet of line or so and, uh, and just start trolling. Okay, well there we go folks. Have no idea what hit. We're out here in 30 feet of water. And like I say, the water's a little bit stained, but it looks like, it looks like the silver blue has worked. So I might stick with it. He's staying down there, so chances are it's a lake trout, but you never know. Now I say, it's 29, 30 feet of water, like I say, and the water temp is just 47 degrees right now. Okay. It feels decent, whatever it is. Like I say, this time of year, you never know what you're gonna get. Salmon, rainbows, browns, but we're targeting lake trout, and I know the lake trout are out here, so good chance it's a laker especially since it's staying down there all right just check my drag just to make sure because if he takes a run and oh yeah that's a leak goat for sure mr. lake trout not a huge one but it's a good start to my day that's for sure uh, you know what, I might be able to use my little my little bass net for that one instead of that other net. Let's get him in here. Head first, always head first when you're landing in the nets. And there's a nice, nice lake trout right there. Still full of energy, I brought him in pretty quick. All right, let's just loosen some line up here. Okay, so. I need to get myself a pair of pliers. I want to get my hands near those trebles. Okay. There we go. There's a nice start to our day right there, folks. That's a beautiful lake trout. Like I say, not huge. I did bring a weigh scale, but we're not gonna weigh this one. If we got a real big one, we'll weigh him. But, okay, he wants to go. Goodbye, Mr. Lake Trout. And it's another reason why I like the rubber nets, folks. You can get your hooks out relatively easy as compared to the traditional uh, traditional nets but I need to get my line back out there we're gonna keep trolling okay back in gear we go and again the technique is very very simple no weights no downriggers no planer boards just toss the line behind the boat let out about a hundred feet of line and then uh, just start trolling and I'm running at two and a half 2.5, 2.8 miles an hour. I'm fluctuating in there, in that range. And I'm gonna stay in this 30 foot to 20 foot zone. These, like I say, these American smelt will dive 20 feet and uh, a lake trout will come up a few feet to hit it. That's not a problem. So there's a boat, there we go, right there. And this is it, that's the technique. I just now sit, relax, keep my rod tip pointed down so I get maximize my the depth of, uh, maximize the depth of the American smelt so that I get my get my 20 foot depth and it's nice and relaxing I just sit here relax and and troll away and wait for the next hit there we go there's a hit folks there was a hit right there good hit good good hit oh yeah that was nice Okay, this one feels like a bit bigger. He gave me a good hard hit. And you know, I mentioned this water's a little bit murky. These American smelts, they've got rattles in them. 
and I like those rattles because in this, these conditions it just helps the lake trout find your uh, find your lure a little bit better and the other thing I like about this little bit of it's not exactly clear water it's it's stained a bit it's 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 a bit murky but not really murky but I like it that it's got a little bit of murk to it because what's happened with this with this Sun being out today in such a gorgeous day and this water being a little bit murked up it's making those fish less spooky and uh, I'm able to troll right over top of them and uh, and entice those hits all right now as I get them closer to the boat what I'm gonna do is just lighten up on my drag just a little bit because what they typically do when they see the boat they like to make a run Oh, actually, he's not, he's not bigger. He's actually a little bit smaller. Wow, this one, felt, this one felt like a bigger fish. He's actually a small, a nice little guy. Let's take a look at him here. Yeah, nice little leaker. He's still though, still very green. But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to land him. And again, I think I could use the, uh, the rubber net wow small but strong holy <laughs> there we go oh there's a nice lake trout okay you can hear the rattles rattling up a storm there all right needle nose are still handy right where i left them and there we go Wow, there's a nice little Lake Ontario lake trout. Look at that. Nice healthy fish. Beautiful, beautiful healthy fish right there. Nice color to them. And uh, just a gorgeous fish. Okay, he wants to go. We'll let him go. There you go. Another thing that I like to do as I'm trolling along is I like to change things up a little bit and try to entice the bite. So pull, let your line go back. Pull let your line go back that's one method and then keep trolling and then the other thing I like to do is just kind of dart the bait along dart it along and let it slide back a bit so what you're doing is you're just changing the action of that crankbait a bit and if there's one that's following and that's a little hesitant what will happen is they'll see that extra little struggle or they'll see that extra movement and then they'll attack Wow. <laughs> When I say wow, I mean wow, what a hit. This one hit like a ton of bricks and then just started taking off. Now that's the thing to keep in mind too. When you're trolling like that and they hit like that and they start to run, you don't really have to set the hook too much because you're already pulling with the boat. So something to keep in mind and you're putting a lot of pressure on that knot. Speaking of which, I'm running a 20 pound fluorocarbon line. And I like to run the fluorocarbon because it's got very little stretch to it. It's got some give, which is good for trolling. Uh, and it's also virtually invisible. So, and I'm able to run 20 pound test line and still get that uh, American smelt down there deep enough for these lake trout. So it's a perfect combination. Oh, wow. I mean, if that hit was any indication on the size of this fish. Now mind you, I said that last fish was bigger and it ends up being smaller. We'll see what this one's like. Oh, I can see him down there. Looks like a decent fish. And this one came out of 24 feet. Actually, that other one, that last one I had, came out of 25 feet. So they're holding in this 20 to 30 foot zone. Oh yeah, this is a nicer fish. Oh yeah. That's a nicer fish. Okay. Do I use my little my little bass net again? Or do I use my other net? Let's try the bass net. Let's see if we can get him in here. Head first. And in the net. Oh. Nope. Okay. Okay, let's get the other net out. This is where I need Antonio. Get him in here. Always head first. That's the way to do it. Okay. Wow, he's just, that's a bigger fish. You know what? Maybe we'll get a weight on this one. I mean, he's not that 
huge, but you know, he's probably he's probably close to 10 anyways. Eight pounds, 10, 10 pounds. Let's get a weight on him. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'll weigh him right in the net. Actually, a little bigger than I thought. He's 12, 12, 6, 12, 8, 12, 11. He's 12 and a half. Let's take a pound off for the net. You're looking at about 11 and a half pounds right there. Okay. Let's grab him by the tail. Best thing to do, grab him right by the tail. Just like that. Let's get this net off him. Oh, uh, just pinched him on the side there. There we go. Oh, there's, a, there's another nice lake trout right there, folks. My, oh my. What a day I'm having out here. Okay, let's get this guy right back in. Okay. See you later, Mr. Lake Trout. Oh yeah. There's absolutely no mistake in when these lake trout hit. They really hit hard. You feel them hit, then you feel them thrash a bit, and then I usually give them a second or two before I just set the hook a bit. Oh my, that was another good hit. But that last fish that I just caught, he gave the new definition of hit and run because that's what he did. He hit and he just took off. That was, that was really something. <laughs> this is a lot of fun out here, folks. Let me tell you. And you know, when you're trolling, I would like to mention as well, if you're not having any luck, take your line in and just take a look at your lure. Sometimes what happens is you get a little debris or a little bit of weed gets caught up on your lure and you just want to clean that off and make sure that your lure is always nice and clean, that you give the most natural presentation that you possibly can. <clears throat> and another way you could tell is as you're trolling, you usually can feel that lure working a bit. And then what will happen is if you get a little debris on there or a little weed, you'll feel it kind of just, it won't work anymore. It'll just kind of be coming through the water. So something to keep in mind because otherwise you'd be wasting your time trolling. Okay, this is another nice lake trout. Okay, boy, they crash around. Oh, he coughed up, looked like he coughed up a shad or a smelt or something. Okay. All right, this one's smaller. I'm gonna go back to my, my little bass net, which as you know, I love dearly. Okay, head first. Oh, it's in the net. Okay. Wow. Boy, these are healthy, 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 chunky fish. Very healthy, chunky fish. And you can see he hooked right on the, the last hook there. Out comes one, out comes the other. Boy, they're really, really healthy, stocky, chunky fish. Look at that, just, just really, really healthy. These fish are thriving here on Lake Ontario. Goodbye, Mr. Lake Trout. My, oh my, folks, let me tell you, flatline trolling, anyone can do it of any age it's real simple to do and it's a lot of fun and you know what after a long winter you get a beautiful spring day get on out there and enjoy some of the great fishing that we have in the great outdoors i want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of thundermas fishing tips and as always folks until next time good luck and good fishing oh this is great <laughs>